Reintegration, yes. yes. Reintegration. Okay. This is a lunch break um, on your national broadcast, ZNBC. And here we move on to Mine Watch now. Technology progress has provided people with more effective and efficient ways of conducting their businesses. The mining industry is also benefiting from technological advances. On Mine Watch today, we look at how mining firms are embracing the technologies. We are going to be speaking to Jerry Sakala, managing partner with Net Innovations. They provide a product called cloud computing to small businesses that supply to the mines. So join me as I speak to Mr. Sakala. Okay, Mr. Sakala is uh, here with me. Welcome to lunch break. Thank you very much, Ahmed. Okay, to begin with, uh, let us look at, uh, you know, um, you are a Google application solution uh, provider. What does that mean? Now, what that implies is, um, to give a, a, a better picture of what exactly it means, let me just go back to what cloud computing really is. Mm -hmm. Now, cloud computing is what would be considered the next big thing that has happened ever since uh, Bill Gates came on the scene. Now, it shouldn't sound as though it's, 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 it's out there in the sky, mm -hmm. but basically, if you know what um, Facebook is, if you know what Amazon.com is, if you know what YouTube is, or you know what Gmail is, mm -hmm. you probably already have an idea of what cloud computing is, but without having known that it is. So basically, cloud computing comes in three, three uh, uh, sectors. One is infrastructure, one is platform, and one is a service. Now, there's what is called software as a service, and it calls also what is called storage as a service and uh, platform as a service. For example, Google Gmail is a service, is a software as a service because it's actually a software, but it's delivered to you over the internet, okay? As opposed to you buying a, a DVD or a CD and putting it in your computer, right? To run Gmail or your email application, you actually get it off the internet, okay? So it doesn't sit on your computer, it's somewhere else, okay? So it's in the cloud. Today, Give you a brief background. For you who knows Amazon.com, Amazon is such a big company. They've been in the business a long time. They sell a lot of books, but that's what we know them for, but they do sell other things. However, in the process, they've become experts at storage, uh, storing stuff on, the, on, on, on servers. They've become such experts that now they actually lease out storage to other companies. Mm -hmm. So other companies now don't even need to buy their own computers. They actually lease storage space in the cloud from Amazon. So you'd even find even banks and other major companies, actually, they don't keep their own stuff, they use that. That's what cloud computing okay, is all so about. So how do, how do you come in then uh, to help out? Right. So we are Google Apps Solutions Providers. In this, in, in this sense, um, what has happened is Google has become the leading cloud computing company in the world. They've been at the game for so long, they've become so good at it, they're, they're the leaders, they're setting the standards. So what has happened is Google has now got what is called a Google Marketplace. And other companies are the ones that are submitting what are called apps to the Google Marketplace. Google is the standard, the core, and other companies are now providing applications which can be delivered either as a storage system or as a service or as, an inf as a platform. For example, Facebook is a platform. Okay? So Google is the one that's setting the standards. So we have aligned ourselves with the leaders in the industry worldwide. That's how we come into the picture. Okay, uh, you've already mentioned, um, you've already talked about, you know, the advantages, um, you know, in the business. Uh, but um, what is on the ground in terms of, you know, the current um, uh, suppliers, are they embracing this uh, type of technology? Are they, are they using it? Cloud computing, mm -hmm. right. Basically, there the are two sides to cloud computing as, in as far as users are concerned. One, you've got the very small guy who's less than 10 employees or 10 users. Then you've got the big companies, 1,000, 2,000 employees, okay? Now, we're focusing mainly on our supplier, the, the community in, in, on the Copper Belt, who are usually less than 10 employees, okay? So those guys, what it is is cloud computing services are basically being delivered to them for free. They are available for free. Mm -hmm. most, they're over... 800 applications that are available for free to small businesses that have less than 10 employees. So that's what we're giving them. And these are all coming through the Google Apps platform. So Google basically is saying to everybody that's a small business, right, we've got all these applications, you now don't need to invest 
in uh, hardware because one, you don't need space because Google's going to give you the space. You don't need a website because Google's going to give you a website. You don't need email services because Google's going to give you. What Google doesn't have, it will get from third parties and give it to you. So there are right now over 800 applications that you can actually use if you're a small business between zero or one to ten employees. Mm -hmm. So most people that are supplying to the mines now are getting those services. But you need one thing in particular that I must mention mm -hmm. that is key to being eligible to get all these applications from Google, and it's a business email address. Okay. <laughs> but uh, how's the response? Are, are, they, are, are, are they welcome to the idea? They're very welcome because <laughs> it's very funny. You know, most people actually feel embarrassed when they take out a business card and it says so-and-so at yahoo.com. Yeah. They, they feel, and yet when they're exchanging the business card with others, you know, they've got their business name, their comment yeah. said, just that, that's the beginning. They, they, they realize, oh, they need that to be more professional. And not only that, what has happened with KCM, for example, they have decided to go paperless, okay, because of environmental concerns, etc. They've decided as a way of cutting down on environmental issues to go paperless. And one way they've decided to do that is that quotations and uh, invoices, etc., should be via email. So every supplier suddenly email becomes very important. Okay. As we come to the end of uh, this interview, you know, this is an interesting um, uh, topic I must uh, make mention. I don't know what your word would be, you know, because uh, sometimes, you know, when new things are coming on the market, uh, there's that fear of the unknown on exactly what is happening. Because at some time, the Y2K people were saying the world is coming to an end. <laughs> <laughs> As for this one, this is a wave that is not coming to an end. Mm -hmm. It is the way ICT is going. That's just the trend. It's either you get on it or get left behind. And the key, if there's one thing that they should, uh, uh, the small business should embrace and learn right now is they need a business email address in order to be eligible to get all the free services that are available for them right now, which costs nothing. But like you said, because of uncertainty, they need obviously to be guided uh, uh, in the process to show them exactly what they need. And that is exactly what we are doing is to be the guiders and advisors in the process. Let me thank you very much, uh, you know, for making it uh, to lunch break. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, just been talking to Jerry Sakala, managing partner with uh, Neta Innovations. Hey, it has been Mind Watch looking at technology at this time. Keep watching.